What's going on YouTube? It is Trevor Triple Seven. Welcome back to part, or er, yeah, part f four of our Pokemon um, Black playthrough. So last time we actually did a did a decent amount of stuff. Uh, we took on the we got our second Pokemon. We took on the first gym. Is it no? This is part four. Um, we took on the gym. We got our second Pokemon, and we took out. Pro, er, we we went to talk to Professor Finnell, so it looks like it's summer. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think that's what we did. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's episode four, so, um, yeah. Anyways, if you guys remember, she told us to go, to go do shiz in the, uh, dream yard. So we are going to do that shiz today. Um, making sure all my Pokemans are set up. I'm gonna switch, uh, Pantage to the front to get him leveled up a little bit. Um... Okay, we had some freezing there, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna use my Pan Sage and uh, level him up a bit. So um, we already killed all of these trainers, and uh, actually, Professor Finnell gave us Cut, and we actually have to use Cut to do this part. So um, I didn't think that through. I'm gonna go catch a random Pokemon because I don't want to teach any of the Pokemon that I have right now Cut. Because I have better moves to teach them, to be honest. So we're going to go into the wild and catch a Purloin, I hope. Purloin would probably be the best bet. There's a Purloin. So let's, uh, let's like use a vi Vine Whip on him and then uh, catch him. S vine Whip. Hwa. Scratch, scratch me. That's all good. Bag, Pokeballs, use. Okay, we're gonna catch him. One, two, three. Click. Nice. Devious. Um, I actually never, <laughs> never, um, I've never used a Prolome before, and I don't think I'm ever going to. I never have the attention, intention to, just because it's kind of bad, but, um... I mean, it's not the worst Pokemon in the world, but it's definitely, definitely not the best. So, it's no, actually, it's like, nowhere near the best, so, uh... Yes. And let's teach it to Prolome. Uh, should we teach... Yeah, let's teach Work Up. Oh, Tepig can. That's stupid. Pantage can. Um, we will lose Leer. Because Workup can pretty... If you use it strategically, Workup can be very, very good. So. We will be sure to put that to good use. Anyways, let's go ahead and go in here. And then he's cut on this tree. Nice. Alright. And then Bianca rolls up. Hi, Trevor. Are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon, too? And she just walks in. What the fuck? Hey, did you hear the sound coming from the other side of, the, of that wall? Come on, let's go see. Alright, Bianca. Yes, I did. I accidentally talked to you again. Please don't say anything to me. Alright, Muna. I think that's what it's called. Muna? I don't know. Oh, wait. We found you, M Muna. Muna? I don't know. <laughs> come on, come on, make some dream mist. Mew! They're kicking it. <gasps> They're kicking him. Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from fearless humans. What are we doing? Pokemon Muna and Mushana emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows something, I don't know. We're going to use that to make people want to release the Pokemon. We'll show the dreams to manipulate to manipulate their hearts. And they kick it. Muna! Come on, spit out that Dream Mist. You're a Kiki Pokemon to make it give out Dream Mist. That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too. 
but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So, on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. What? Don't hurt Trevor. I got this. Don't worry about me, Bianca. I got this crap. Alright, let's go, Plasma Grunt. He just has a lousy little pat rat. It's all good. I got F and Pan Sage. Get on my level. Alright, so let's use Work Up. We're gonna, we're gonna use it one more time and then we're gonna watch our attacks go beast mode. Vine whoop. Ha ha ha. Oh, critical. I don't know if that would have did that as much without the critical, but... Still, a critical. Were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever. I'm next. We aren't going to use workups as much this time. We're just going to go beast mode. On his purloin. Alright, Pansage, it's all up to you, buddy. Let's go. A scratch. Keep on vine whipping. Actually, I think we're gonna use a scratch, because I think a scratch might do a little bit more than vine whip. Ah, half ale, and scratch to finish it off. GG, plasma. This is a nightmare. Yeah, to, you don't have to tell me it's a nightmare, bitch. I'm the dream. <laughs> I bel I can't believe we lost, but we have to obtain the dream miss. <gasps> The fuck? What are you two doing? <gasps> what the fuck? <laughs> we, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties, this isn't Getus when he is gathering followers, or Getus when he is trying to control people by tricking them with speeches. Yeah, this is Getus when I pl when a plan failed and he is about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we we're sorry, so he forgives us. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, uh, what's that? Musharna, I think? Shar. <laughs> what was that just now? The person called Getsus appeared all over the place. It wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon. I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha. Mooney. <laughs> what the fuck? Did something happen? Oh, Fennel. What? Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came and it showed us something like a dream and then Team Plasma. I think I followed that. See, Mashuni evolves from Muna. So seeing Muna in trouble, it uses powers making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. Is this Dream Mist? Well, with this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Alright. How random was that? Trevor, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm going to look for the Pokemon we saw now. Alright, you can look by just standing there, I guess. We're just going to look around for some items and stuff like that. Uh, crap. Purloin, we're just going to run. There's a decent amount of items that you can actually get in this place. So, uh... We're gonna try to get them all. Mm. 
we'll, we'll be getting down there. I'm pretty sure later in the game. I'm not sure, though. I'd imagine. I don't see why there would be a staircase. Potion. All right. I could have sworn there was a few more items, but whatever. We'll just go. Let's go to Fennels. See what the hell she wants. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some dream mist. Now we can collect save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you the Seager to use. The Seager is a device related related to the com to communication, such as inferred connection or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Cool. Seager. Sure. And this little thing comes up at the bottom of the screen. There wasn't anything on the bottom of the screen before, and now there's like a little something, but whatever. We won't be using it, so no no point. Um, you see the seagull was activated, and the screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon on the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the seeker, about game sync. I'd like to explain a little more about this system to collect trainer safe files. Do you want to learn more? Honestly, I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. We're not going to be using this. I'm not going to be using this, just so shut up. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, Trina, thank you very much for helping funnel. This is from me. Please take it. Don't be shy. And I have no idea what that is. Pow pad. Okay. Cool. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool story, bro. All right, let's go. Um, That's it with funnel. <laughs> Pretty much everything useless there. Like, all that was useless, but whatever. Let's heal up real quick. Speed this up. I will be seeing you to get you again, so Yeah, anyways, we're done with Striaton City. So we're gonna go out here now. Um there isn't anything this this lady doesn't battle you. Um there's I know there's some hidden items and stuff, but nothing that we'll we're gonna look for. So um yeah, this is Route 3, heading to a new city. Um, real quick, up here we're going to battle some trainers. If you go in here, there's a lady that will um, heal your Pokemon. Pretty sure it's this lady. So uh, if we ever need to, we'll go in there and heal Pokemon. But uh, there also is a bunch of trainers that like to battle you in this area. So we'll, we'll battle them. Yay. She has a lily pup. We'll still be using Pansage, so, uh, yeah. These vine whips aren't doing much at all, but what are we gonna do? Let's try, let's see how much scratch does. Not much more. Uh oh. We're getting pretty low on health. That orange berry should prolong our death a little bit longer and uh That motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god, that's probably gonna screw us there. Oh, never mind. Now we should still be able to beast on this lily pup because it uses Odor Sleuth or whatever. That bite won't kill us unless it gets critical. All right, and then vine whip for the one. So lily pups can be very, very deadly um, if you don't take it out quickly. So uh, we're gonna switch just because he's low on health. We're gonna go over to Tepig. I think Tepig is kind of close to leveling up. I hope. Nah, he's not. But at level 15, he learns a pretty beastly move, or she. Learned a pretty beastly move that we're going to be using for a long time. 
Um, kind of excited to get there. Lucky chant. Now we can't get criticals, but whatever. No worries. Uh, we can still burn it. Ha 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 ha. Cool. Bam, that's game. Alright, so there's a bunch more. There, like the, I think there's three more trainers in there. And each of the little kindergarten people have a... One of the three, like, elemental monkey type Pokemon things. So... I hope I can remember correctly which one has which one. I think this girl has Pampor. I don't know. If she doesn't, then we'll just switch. I think she does. Aw, oh, Panseer. I was completely wrong. So that, that thing will F, F us up if we don't switch. So we better switch. Oops. Crap. Shift. All right, Tepig, you got this. Tackle. Looks like he's gonna make his pants here keep on, or she's gonna make his make her pants here keep on using the same move. That's completely useless. So I will accept that. <laughs> it's completely and utterly fine by me. 69 XP. Hell yeah. Alright, then it, it, I think it's this dude. That is Pampor. I hope. Alright, cool. I know it was one of these two. I just didn't know which one. So this should level up Pan, Pan Sage, actually, which will be cool. Super effective, of course. One hundred and sixty one XP for the level up and he's running learning fury swipes. Which we'll we'll do it, but I don't know if we'll be using it that much. We'll get rid of the lick just because it's kinda useless. I'll never use that. And uh yeah. And now we'll switch. Put Tepic up front. Actually, I'm pretty sure you can go up this slide. You can. <laughs> hello. 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 How you doing? Take this hyper beam. Yeah, this guy has a Dragonite. I'm dead serious. He does. Watch. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> um, Tepig will be able to take this bad boy out very, very easily. Nice. Scratch won't do, pr practically won't do anything. Nice, level 15. So this is when we learn the new move, I'm pretty sure. Yep, Flame Charge, okay. So, well, uh, we're definitely, definitely learning fl fl Flame Charge. We're getting rid of the Tail Whip. But Flame Charge is really, really good. It's a really, really good move. Um, and, uh, yeah. And so we beat all the we beat up on all the preschool isn't there a hidden item in here? I promise you there's a hidden item in here. I'm almost positive there is. Yep. <laughs> Ultra ball, nice. I'm, I've been catching up on some Pokemon Black stuff. And of course I played the game, but I didn't get that on my poor first playthrough. So, um, yeah, guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and hit it off here. It might be a little short, but something happens next episode, and I I don't want to kind of split it up, like, start happening to split it and do it again. So I'm going to do it all in the next episode. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, of course, we will be doing what I just said. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you enjoyed, and make sure you love, leave a like, you know. Um, and, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm having really fun playing this, and, uh, yeah. Bye.